internet and mobile internet uh, drives a lot of the innovations and some of them are very disruptive especially uh, that's uh, very brings a lot of challenges to companies the internet companies like Baidu uh, like uh, Tencent and a lot of people are asking so beyond mobile internet what would be the next so this is what Baidu is seeing actually I move here so today we can see a lot of data generated by the internet and mobile internet uh, talking about Baidu alone we have like uh, close to 600 million users and we, uh, we are processing 1.8 uh, billion queries a day and also uh, we are uh, processing over 100 terabytes of uh, data and beyond that we can see a lot of uh, Chinese companies uh, Chinese internet companies also generating a lot of data every day uh, Taobao has uh, processing 10, over 10 million uh, transactions a day and also uh, seen as Weibo also has a lot of data a lot of tweets uh, 80 million a day and especially uh, the WeChat uh, is uh, growing very fast beyond that in the global area we can see YouTube, Google, uh, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, all generating a lot of data every day. This uh, creates a lot of challenge to uh, these internet companies, but also brings a lot of opportunities to these internet companies. Uh, we can see with the, along with the, the growth of the data, uh, the analytical or computing power that has a big lag uh, behind the, 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 the curve. So this will be uh, very challenging to a lot of companies and also will bring a lot of uh, opportunities to a company like Baidu. We, we are focusing on uh, creating a lot of this uh, uh, data computing capabilities, uh, analytical capabilities uh, to the industry. Uh, we can see that uh, in uh, Baidu, the image recognition uh, we are processing 100 million a day. Uh, this is the training size of our uh, servers and our uh, the volume and scale. And the, you, you can see that for the web search, the CTR alone, that's a click-through rate. For that training alone, uh, Baidu has a, need to have a 50 billion uh, of bytes of data that need to be in the training every day. This, uh, we need to bring in uh, a lot of uh, servers together that's uh, in a volume of uh, like uh, tens of thousands of servers to process this data for the web search and also for the search ads CTR that's uh, also in, in a bigger scale uh, we are realizing that uh, in four layers of technology that we have uh, opportunity to innovate uh, in this, the lowest uh, area, uh, layer, that's uh, data centers. And we are, Baidu is uh, building its own servers, racks, and data centers. And also the software managing those data centers. So we call it software-defined data centers. And also in the upper layer, this software layer that's uh, handling distributed computation of those data. And Similar to Hadoop and MapReduce, these are uh, the software we are designing that need to go up in scale. More than that, the upper two layers, we see the very big opportunity for uh, technology companies to innovate in this uh, uh, big data processing. One is the data warehousing. We are building a new uh, generation of query engines which can handle uh, much bigger size of the data over the traditional database and also uh, the, the analytical uh, power or say IR, IR of the, the, the system that including machine learning large scale of machine learning and also deep learning that which will help the company uh, 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 the system to understand the data and extract uh, intelligence out of those data and that's the key of uh, the big data uh, analyzing uh, analysis 
and on the upper layers, the, the fourth layer, the top layer, is the interaction with the users. There are a lot of uh, innovation in this area. Giving a few examples, uh, Baidu is working with the Chinese government in the uh, central TV uh, station. We are showing in the uh, Spring Festival, we are showing the, the uh, moving uh, of uh, Chinese citizens. Uh, that's a very uh, intensive uh, moving uh, period of time uh, for China, uh, for Chinese citizens. This will give the government a lot of uh, indication how they should uh, manage their transportation vehicles and managing those uh, challenges. And also, we have a prediction a series of products that helps uh, to predict in each of the uh, holidays uh, that which uh, park, which city might have oversight or overcrowded. That will help the government to manage those uh, uh, travel agency to manage those de destinations and transportations. And also we are working with the uh, China CDC that uh, to predict some uh, like uh, disease where, where it might occur uh, in a massive volume. So these are the, some samples of uh, uh, the usage of big data. And Baidu is also working with a lot of industries, uh, given, uh, uh, giving a few examples, like we are producing a lot of wearable devices, which is uh, uh, in the healthcare, that uh, this will generate a lot of data. So with those data, if we work with those hospitals, that will, ha will help uh, the, the hospital, hospitals and doctors to better uh, diagnose uh, of the disease. Another, one, another example is we are working with uh, a mobile industry. Uh, with our search data, and also we, we have some uh, other data so that that can help to produce uh, uh, for the for the car, like which would kind of uh, give them the, some indication of what kind of model, what kind of package are better, uh, are more welcome in China. Uh, we are also uh, producing some new products that are leveraging our capability in big data. Uh, given a few examples that uh, for, if you use mob, mobile phone, if you take a picture of, uh, on the roadside signs, that we, we can uh, automatically uh, translate for, to your uh, local language, either English or Chinese or some other language. So this will give you some uh, travelers a very good uh, indication that how to uh, navigate their, 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 their roadside. Uh, this one, of course, if the, you, when you see some, some people, you take a picture of them, uh, it, you can do an automatic search. If, if this user or, or person uh, publish their, their picture in their Facebook or LinkedIn, that, uh, we can automatically uh, find it so that you, you can know their name. So in the future, you don't have to exchange business cards. If you, uh, the users agree to, to publish those, those data, of course. And also, uh, for those uh, young parents, a lot of them, they didn't know uh, why their baby cries. So uh, Baidu has technology that uh, we recorded a lot of baby crying uh, uh, patterns. So when you do a search, you will, they will give you an indication, very likely indication, why the baby is crying in this pattern. It's whether he is hungry or he is like, uh, having some other problem or, or sick. So these are the, the uh, usage of uh, uh, big, big data. And also, uh, with the uh, uh, technology uh, innovation, there are a, a lot of possibilities uh, showing up, uh, giving these uh, internet uh, companies uh, opportunity to innovate through the big data. Mm -hmm.